Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning in to another episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic, it's Stephen A. Smith's turn. Look, we're talking about Screaming A. Smith. You know, a.k.a. the habitual go post mover. Look, <clears throat> the previous episode... I went at Shannon Sharp for his transgressions against the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. And I called out his hypocrisy. Now, <clears throat> it wouldn't be fair if I didn't call out his partner in crime, Stephen A. Smith. Because they always seem to forget what they say or what they do. And they try to cover it up with some big words that a lot of times is used out of context. For everybody watching this, you know, usually for the people that are watching, I have a very large vocabulary. So I know when the words that are being used by a Stephen A or some of the other media pundits are being used wrong or out of context. But there's nothing here there nor there about that, right? I'm going to play this clip. And then I'm going to break it down the way it's supposed to be broken down. So without further ado, let's hear the hypocrisy that he's been speaking for today. (laughs) Ridiculous. Number two, I want to say this too. We got to be real about this with Lamar Jackson. Every point you made is absolutely right, Shannon, but there's another nugget. Another nugget. We also have to judge him by history. The reality is he's been in the league. He's got one playoff victory. Mm -hmm. That one playoff victory was against... Ryan Tannehill. So when we talk about Lamar Jackson, because of the level of greatness that you're talking about, because of the near perfect passer so, rating yesterday afternoon, because of the fact that he's got a league high six games this year with a completion percentage of 70% or better, they're five and two, they could easily be seven and no. We get all of that. When you see the level you, of greatness, we, you get all Lamar of that. Jackson has to make sure, because we all know he's worth his money because he's box office. You ain't seven four! About whether or not he's you don't know if the debate was that first take started? We still are looking for him based on what you and Shannon articulated and highlighted. At some point when it really, really counts, and we know that means the playoffs, you got to be that dude then too. Yeah. You can't do this during a regular season. And then even though he was hurt oh. the last two years, we missed the last two regular seasons. We got all that 11 games we missed over the last two years, last five games each of the last two seasons. The bottom line is you still have to show up in the postseason when you're that great. We don't want to see you home in January watching the playoffs with the rest of us. We expect to see you. Let Patrick Mahomes send you home. Let that happen. You can live with it. Same thing I said about Aaron Rodgers. Let Patrick Mahomes send Aaron Rodgers home. Let Patrick Mahomes send a Josh Allen home. But when you see these elite quarterbacks, if somebody like that ain't the one sending you home, we're asking, why the hell are you home? Listen, let me tell you something right now. Oh! You got a slap just come right out of it, Stephen A. Let me let me break that all the way down, right? For one, we're going to start this off slow. For one, we're already discussing his playoffs. So for Lamar Jackson, the regular season doesn't count. This is coming from the same man for years that has been quoted Calling Aaron Rodgers, he's a bad man. During all those regular season games. The regular season doesn't count for Lamar. Okay. You also stated that Patrick Mahomes should be the player to send you home, i.e. Lamar Jackson. If he's not the one sending you home, then you shouldn't be home. He said he said the same thing about Aaron Rodgers. Ah, Are you stupid? No, no, no. I got to ask that question. Is Patrick Mahomes in the NFC? Is he? Is he? Because if I'm not mistaken, the people that was sending home that bad man was Eli Manning. Jimmy Garoppolo. Colin Kaepernick. So, where is the transparency here? Didn't Jay Cutler send him home too? I'm 
pretty sure he did. We don't talk about that. Now you're saying that you don't know where this con, this context came where it said that, you know, Lamar's not worth his money. And stuff like that. Oh, we all know. Like he always says, every time he talks about him, he's box office. He's something special to watch with those legs. You know, <clears throat> there's something that we used to call in Jamaica of having shame. I think that's the biggest problem with today's society. Is that we've did away with shame. A healthy amount of shame is good. You know why? Because when you feel shameful of something, you're less likely to do certain things, say certain things, carry yourself a certain way before the fear of shame. These media pundits, they don't have no shame. None. They have no shame! And it has to start being called out. The hypocrisy that this man stands on day in and day out to openly say he's going to judge Lamar differently, harder, more egregiously. For the simple fact of saying he's only won once in the playoffs. There was a stat <laughs> that was very funny. I, I, I couldn't put it up, but it said, and I never, and I didn't know about this stat. It said the most passing yards under duress in a game. They've been tracking this since 2009. So this thing's been being tracked well over, what, well over 20 years now. Sunday, Lamar Jackson had passed the most pass yards under duress for 246 passing yards. Second most, Patrick Mahomes in 2018 for 205. You know why I say that? Because even I said, and a lot of people pointed out that, you know, the O-line played great. Lamar has been asked to do Spectacular things, day in, day out, play after play. You see, Patrick Mahomes doesn't always have to be special. He didn't always have to be special. You know why? Because you had Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy. He didn't always have to be special. Do you know why? Because he had Tyree Kill. Do you know why he didn't always have to be special? Because he had Travis Kelsey. And also he didn't have to always be special because he had one of the best O-lines, especially when Tyreek and them were there. Before all the injuries that happened to his O-line, he had one of the top O-lines in the league. And right now, he has one of the top O-lines in the league. So he didn't have to be spectacular every day. It was enough. It was enough just to complete the pass. I want to remind everybody watching this. We are watching a Ravens team where we're looking at his receivers. And for once, we're happy that they just caught the ball. I brought that up during the um, the, the Shannon um, episode, and I specifically said, I said, nobody brought that up. It's funny how they brought it up after I brought it up. The man's only had under 70% passing once in seven games. And the one game that was under 70, they dropped eight passes. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, like what? And Stephen A still goes up. You know, as a man, you're supposed to be able to stand on your word and morals. And that if you're wrong, you're supposed to be able to look at people and say, look, I was wrong. Regardless of your stature, re regardless of your accomplishments, you're supposed to be able to say that. You understand where I'm coming from? You're supposed to be able to say, hey, my bad. I was wrong. They don't have that. This is why I want shame to come back. Because these pundits don't have any. And Stephen A. and, and, and Shannon Sharp need a healthy dose of shame. How dare you to come out after the, 
after the absolute disgraceful, distasteful segment that your show put out questioning this man's money. And you saying you don't know where that comes from. And to make it worse, after everything y'all said, to defend your point, you guys have yet to do a similar segment on any of the other quarterbacks. <laughs> quarterbacks that have been paid. Quarterbacks that are playing bad. Quarterbacks that have talent out the wazoo on defense, offense, everything. And they're not getting the job done. You guys crapped on his name for his teammates failing him. Openly, I might add. This is coming, and the reason why I said that, because I'm going to bring everything full circle, this is from the same Stephen A. Smith for years that have come out and said that there was a travesty that the Green Bay Packers did not invest more in the weapons surrounding Aaron Rodgers. Every time he lost, it's the Packers' fault. They didn't give him enough weapons. They didn't surround him. He's the greatest passer I've ever seen. They need to give him more. They need to make a trade. We watched the team drop eight passes, and you guys still blamed him. We've seen games where he was pressured more than Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, and you guys still blamed him. So the question is, once he wins the Super Bowl, what will be your questions then? But what do you guys think? Am I being too hard on Stephen A. Smith or Shannon Sharp? Or am I hitting the nail quite directly on the head? Let me know down in the comment section, please. Because let me tell you something right now. These guys are some, in my, through my lens, through my eyes, some high-level hypocrites. Hypocrites! Hypocrites! But let me know in the comment section what y'all think about it. And that's an episode of the one again. Thank you for watching. And now we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the one again show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. So give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And... At the bottom of the screen, if you want to donate to this channel, help out with stuff, that's how you do it. Bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of the video, of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The One That Can Show. And before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out to Samuel McDougal for donating a large $10. <laughs> Thank you for donating that hard-earned money. I know how hard it is to earn money. You guys are investing into this channel. Thank you so much for believing in us and me. I'll make sure to put it to good use. So thank you, Sam Samuel McDougal. But once again, it's the Wonder Can Show. This show's not just signing off, and as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp. <laughs>